Hello everyone, I'm Oscar Alcala, DP and cinematographer for Sammy's Camera, and a couple of months ago we released a video where I show you how I set up my external hard drives for content creation on a Mac. Now many of you requested that I show you how to do the same but in Windows, so without further ado, let's get to it. Before we get started on this short tutorial, I want to introduce you to the storage drive I'll be using. Thanks to our friends at Sandus Professional, I got my hands on one of the fastest external SSDs on the market. Introducing the G Drive Pro SSD. If you're a videographer, content creator, or you just want to be able to navigate through your Lightroom catalog with blazing speeds, then this is the drive for you. The G Drive Pro SSD delivers transfer speeds of up to 2,800 megabytes a second. This gives the user the ability to transfer up to one terabyte of data in seven minutes or less and edit multi-stream 8K footage at full frame rates. This SSD is a game changer, especially when working on location where portability and ruggedness is a must. The G Drive Pro SSD is powered and delivers its stunning speed via a single Thunderbolt 3 port. This is a must have for videographers like myself that need to transfer and back up projects on location or on the go. Thanks to the speed and reliability of this drive, I can work on large projects from beginning to end without having to clutter up my computer's internal hard drive. The G Drive Pro SSD comes with a five year limited warranty assuring you high performance storage for years to come. All right guys, so now that we have our drive, let's go ahead and plug it into our PC. We'll be working on my video editing PC running Windows 11. It's very important that you use a Thunderbolt 3 cable that's included with the drive, as this will assure we'll have access to the full transfer bandwidth of our drive. Now out of the box, the drive will be formatted for either NTFS for Windows or HFS Plus for Mac OS. If you're like me and find yourself working with both Windows and Mac, you'll want to reformat your drive to XFAT or FAT32. This will make it so that you can access all your files in both operating systems. Now that our drive is correctly formatted and present in File Explorer, let's go ahead and click on our drive to open up our file directory. Inside our drive, let's start by adding a folder for our video content. We can right click on the window and select new folder, or we can use the quick key, Control Shift N, to create our new folder we will name Video Projects. Using the footage from the recent video of the G-Ray 2 I shot, I'm gonna create a folder for our project and give it a unique name. Now that we have our project folder, let's create three different folders and name them footage, audio, and exports. I'm gonna start by transferring our Sony FX3 4K footage from our SD card to the G Drive Pro SSD by dragging and dropping our files into the footage folder we just created. And in no time, our footage is saved. I'll drag and drop my music track and any external audio to our audio folder. Now thanks to the speeds of the Pro SSD, I can save my project files and take my video edit from start to finish. When I'm ready to export my project, 
I'll send the files over to our exports folder. Just like that, my video project is organized nice and neatly. Now let's talk about how I save my Lightroom catalog, making it easy to carry everywhere I go. Let's start by opening our G Drive Pro SSD file directory and following the same steps as before by creating a new folder and naming it Lightroom Catalog 2022. Now I'm gonna create a new catalog by opening up Lightroom on my computer and selecting File, New Catalog. Here I'll navigate to my Lightroom Catalog 2022 folder and name the file Lightroom Catalog 2022. I like to save all my images with my Lightroom catalog, so let's go ahead and create another folder and name it Images. In this folder, I save all the images of a particular shoot within a separate folder named appropriately after the event. Here I'm also going to create a second folder and name it Lightroom Exports. This is where I'll save my file images exported as JPEGs. All right guys, and there you have it. I've been using the G Drive Pro SSD for a little over three months now, and I must say it has been a game changer in my workflow. It's just really nice and convenient. The footprint is really small. The build quality is really nice. I like this like soft plastic material here, very slip resistant. So when I have it in my hands, it doesn't feel like it's gonna slip or fall out. Being able to take this on location and transfer like your whole day's footage in a matter of minutes is also really nice and convenient because we can get the rest of our crew out of there and gone. I can hand this over to my editor at the end of the day and I know he's got all the footage backed up and ready to start working with. So I think this would make a great addition to anybody's workflow. If you need the speed and the portability and you have access to Thunderbolt 3 or 4, this is definitely the drive that you should be picking up. If you want to learn more about the G Drive Pro SSD, come on over to one of our Sammy's Camera Southern California locations or visit us online at sammys.com. Hey guys, if this video was helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to our channel yet, we upload awesome content like this every week and I'd love for every one of you to join our great community. Because remember guys, here at Sammy's, we're so much more than a camera store. Peace.